The five-star sit-down is now joined by the man I've been calling the Thanos of Arizona recruiting. He came into the state, got his six Infinity Stones, snapped his finger, and it seemed like half of the recruits ended up in Berkeley. Charlie Ragel, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, great. Great to be on. Thanks for having me. Uh, so let's. we're definitely going to talk about the haul that you were able to bring in, the, the six commits, but the news of the day right now is Sean Aguano moving on from Chandler to Arizona State as their running backs coach. Um, this is a move that you made a couple years ago, moving on from Chaparral to Arizona. I know that you know Sean well. What is it about him that will make him successful in his new role at the college level? Well, first and foremost, I couldn't be more happy for Sean and his family. You know, we've uh, I've gotten to know Sean r really well over, you know, the, the seven years I've been recruiting Chandler as he became the head coach. And so, first of all, just very, very happy for him and his family. and got a chance to, to speak with him yesterday. Um, you know, it's just the kind of person that he is. You know, I think the fact that he's, he's very humble, uh, the fact that he's um, very easy to talk to, and I think the, the sincerity with which – uh, he approaches everything that he does, uh, really comes off. And um, I think that ASU couldn't have hired a better guy in, in Chicago. What challenges face a first-year position coach at the college level who's been so successful at the high school position? What, what did you go through through that first year when you joined Arizona and kind of the, the areas that you had to grow in when you became a college coach? Well, that's a great question. I think, for, first of all, the biggest thing is you're not the boss anymore. <laughs> you know, you, you get humbled pretty quickly um, in, in the fact that, you know, you're, you're surrounded with uh, a lot of able-minded uh, folks, you know, and you've got a lot of experience on that staff and, and guys, obviously, and Coach Edwards that have coached at the NFL, and, and, and they have a list of guys on that staff at ASU that have uh, done a ton of, you know, have a lot of accomplishments and under their belt. So with that being said, you know, it, it's, it's a deal where, you know, it, it, it's very humbling. And, you know, you go from being the man, you know, Sean was the man of Chandler. You know, he created a he, Chandler into, you know, a national power. And so now your, your role is totally shifted. So, uh, it, it's it's going to be very humbling from the get go, you know. But uh, uh, it won't be a problem for him. He, he'll be able to handle that with ease. Talking to Charlie Ragel here on the Five Star Sit Down, the Cal Special Teams Coordinator and tight end coach. So, let's talk about Arizona from a school standpoint. Why Arizona? What makes the state of Arizona so special to go out and pull six guys out of the state? Well, I, I think anyone that that knows me or has spent time with me understands the value that I have for, for Arizona high school football and the appreci appreciation that I have for the state. Uh, I know the level of football that's being played in Arizona, and um, uh, because of some of those relationships that we're talking about, like guys like Sean, you know, uh, one of the first things we laughed about was uh, uh, yesterday was, could he get the Carlos Brooks back? <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's too, too late for that, man. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's just that, right? It, it's the relationships and – and the value that I, I've placed on those relationships. And uh, like I said, I know the value and the level of big time football being played in Arizona. And, and so because of that, I've been able to use my, my ties and connections to, to help us get back in there and, uh, and, and recruit the state pretty hard. Now of the six guys you pulled from Arizona, you're actually grabbing kind of a package deal from Liberty High School in Peoria, two seniors who graduated together. When it comes to team chemistry, even a little bit later on into their college career, does having a package deal like that help with the chemistry, both them on the defensive side of the ball, moving forward to that, that side of the 11 uh, when, when you're on the field together? I think there's some merit to that, sure. Uh, I think, uh, um, you know, overall, though, you know, not just with the, these two young men, but these six guys that we, we, we were able to get out of the state of Arizona this year, um, it was a, a really unique situation where I think if you sit down with these young men um, as a group collectively, they share a lot of similarities. Obviously, they're great students. Uh, but their commitment and work ethic and, and passion for the game of football is, is what stands, stands out about them. And they're very um, low-maintenance kids in terms of not a lot of big social media uh, 
not a lot of uh, really self-promotion, just really more go about their jobs, do their work, and and I think that's what was really attractive, you know, one of the many things that was really attractive to us at Cal. So among this class, you brought in one of the top quarterbacks in the state, top running back, top offensive lineman, two of the top defensive linemen, and a really good linebacker and safety in Ryan Puskis. When you were drawing up the plans for this class, was this the goal to get to try to bring in as many of these guys as you could? Or what was your, your realistic expectations on Arizona for this particular class? Well, I think it's, you know, it's like every year um, is the same, right? We're going out and we're trying to recruit the very best players that fit what we're trying to do as a program here, program here at Cal. And, and, you know, the fact that I recruit Arizona, obviously that's my territory, but um, it wasn't, hey, this is the blueprint of what we want to do. We've got a set number at every position, and we were going to recruit to that number. Obviously, we identified uh, a lot of these guys early on uh, as being guys that we felt uh, the talent uh, matched what we wanted, and, and then all of those other uh, pieces um, uh, of these young men matched up what we wanted here at Cal. And so then we went after them really hard. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate, you know, to sit here and say, hey, I, I could come into the state and – and we're going to be able to get six kids out of Arizona every year. That's probably not realistic. Uh, you know, some things have to fall uh, in your favor, and you've got to have some luck. But, uh, uh, you know, we're going to continue to recruit the state of Arizona extremely strong. And on that note, obviously you have success coming back to Arizona and grabbing some guys out here. But exactly how strenuous is it coming back and grabbing a pack of guys like this from another state like Arizona? Well, I, it, it, was, it was fine until the very end, you know, when, where you, you know, I think when you get them to commit early, sometimes it's almost harder, right? Because it's like you've got to defend them, uh, you know, uh, for a lot longer. And so uh, it was for the most part, like I said, these guys were, were pretty low maintenance and, and uh, you know, honored their word. Um, I think, though, you know, at the end, obviously with, with Brett Johnson and, and uh, ASU making a hard push at him at the end. Um, you know, that one was – that one we had to battle extremely hard for. But, uh, um, yeah, so it did get, it get strenuous there at the end. But, you know, it all worked out in our favor. Coach, always great talking to you. We appreciate the time. Congrats on this past class and good luck the rest of this recruiting cycle. Hey, I appreciate what you guys do for Arizona High School football. And thanks again for having me on. Go Bears. All right, that was Charlie Ragel from the Cal Bears, special teams coordinator, tight end coach, uh, and again, just absolutely killed it this year in the state of Arizona, um, not just bringing in six football players from the state, but we, we went through the credentials. You know, most of these guys that were at the top of their position groups in the class in a really good 2019 class as well. Yeah, and, you know, Berkeley's a nice area to go to. Mm -hmm. Cal is on the rise right now, it looks like, and, you know, it's, it's cool to have Arizona gain exposure like this. You wrote a great piece on all six of them uh, who were picked up on Sports360AZ.com. And, you know, it's really interesting now. Uh, I know we mentioned this before, but, you know, I call games, you call games. But, you know, you, you go to a football game and you got a list of commits. And it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, it's just, it's just different than it was past years. And it feels like it's only getting bigger. Yeah, I, absolutely. And it, it's always interesting when there's a big contingent that kind of moves over together about – it seems like they just match up with a similar mindset. And and what one thing he mentioned was they value education. And you go you go down the list of all of these guys, and that's exactly what it was. So a place like Cal where you can go play Pac-12 football, you can be competitive, you have a young coach in Justin Wilcox that just signed an extension and seems to be around for a long time. Uh, it seems like there's, there's a bit of a, a movement in the Pac-12 North to towards Berkeley, and then you throw on that, awesome education that you're going to yes. get like it, it, it for a lot of these guys it kind of the the tone was like yeah this is a no-brainer like why would I not do this so um, really good stuff there um, from uh, Charlie Ragel and then uh, coming up next we have Kevin Kaplan of the Polynesian Bowl one of the many all-american bowls that's going on and Arizona is well represented in that as well keep it here on the five-star sit down